Well, I've got another nice tool um, that I'd like to show you this evening that I've made, and it's a nice quality jeweler's loop or tool grinder's loop magnifying glass universal fit that will fit on most types of glasses. Now I've been searching online for a tool like this for some time and um, couldn't find one with good quality or good quality lenses or anything like that and um, I thought last night well why don't I make my own and um, it's quite strange really because once I made this tool I looked online again today and I was looking through vintage um, jewellers loops and um, medical loops and they made a similar one to this um, back in Victorian times out of brass which actually clipped on the side of the glasses. I did buy this set a while back um, but I found it quite cumbersome and awkward to adjust and you have to take your glasses off to use it um, so I think that this type of thing is much better and the great thing about this one as well is you can choose a lens to suit um, your eye and I've also made it um, with screws on the back so I can take those out and take the lens out to replace it or change it for another one. And this is a spare pair of glasses that I have. So I leave this rod um, on the glasses the whole time. And um, this one can be used and then uh, moved out of the way. You don't really notice it on there when um, it's in that position. And um, you can also adjust it so that it's part way over the lens. And when you're working, you can look through the bottom half of the glasses and then look up through the top half through the um, magnifying glass for checking the um, very close work. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I like making um, things out of scrap items and that and over the years I've collected um, many pairs of uh, broken binoculars, telescopes and anything that's got magnifying glasses in and uh, collected all different types of lenses um, which I thought I would use at some point. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make this tool on the mini lathe and um, what types of tools I've used to make it and a few tricks to save a lot of time. So firstly I'm making this part here and this is a piece of 1 8 um, diameter, 1 8 inch diameter brass rod and I've cut that to um, 82 millimeter long and rounded off the ends on the buffing wheel. So I put the rod in the mini lathe chuck and leave it sticking out um, about 20 millimetre. And I'm going to use a carbide insert tool and it's an SDJCR and it's got an 07020 carbide insert. Incidentally you can get these tools now from China on eBay um, for about six pounds fifty and that's post free so they're not expensive to buy and um, I'm going to use that one to do the turning now on this part um, this tool here is one that I use on most basic turning operations on both my lathes And then pull the rod out a bit more. So I'm going to leave um, probably about seven millimeter gap in the middle there.
and that's that part finished it doesn't matter what dimensions you have there just something like that and those diameters there are for the cable ties to sit in and hold the um, rod firmly on the glasses um, arm so it can't slip off next I've got a piece of um, quarter inch diameter aluminium bar and I've faced it off uh, to 37 millimeter long with that same tool and now I'm putting it in the mini lathe um, chuck and I'm sticking out enough so that I can use my tool post drill and centre drill and drill through with a 1 8 diameter drill um, roughly in the centre of that. So I've put the lathe in neutral and I've locked the carriage. And I find it easier just to take the tool post drill out to change the drill. So the carriage is locked and the tool will go in exactly the same position. And that's the whole finished um, for the brass rod that I've just made um, to go through. Next, leaving the aluminium bar in the same position, it's centre drill and then uh, uh, drill with a 0 0.090 thou um, drill, which is the core diameter for a 6BA thread. And then I take my spindle handle and fit that on the back and carefully finish the screw tapping, the 6BA screw tapping, like that. Then I turn it round um, in the jaws and drill through with a 0.118 um, thou drill which is the core diameter for a um, 4BA thread and I drill that into that um, cross hole um, a little bit, just a little bit further and then um, tap down into that cross hole so then I get a 6BA steel screw for strength and put some Loctite 638 on that one and screw that into the um, thread there on the end and then when the uh, Loctite set I saw it off um, leaving about three or four millimeter of thread and um, buff off the end nicely and then that part's finished so that's what it looks like now, the um, cross hole, the steel 6BA um, thread sticking out of the end by about 4mm and the brass 4BA locking screw which will screw down onto the rod and lock solid on there like that and all there is to make now is the lens holder so next I've chosen a brass bar end which is bigger than the actual lens. Um, you need um, a bit of thickness there obviously for the steel 6BA screw um, to screw into that one. And using the same tool um, just face off
and because it's got a slight drill hole there already I don't need to use a centre drill and then just drill a hole for the um, boring bar to go in and then I use a small HSS boring bar from this set here I think you can get this set on eBay at the moment for about £29 but don't think that you can use them straight away um, in their bought state they need extra relief grinding on them and different angles to make them perform correctly so this is the one that I'm going to use and this is the shop bought one you can see the different angles there and from the front view and um, that tool there will perform how it should And you want the magnifying lens just to be a uh, loose fit in there like that. So next I bore out the um, back which is the through bore and um, I'm boring that out um, and leaving about one millimeter edge or land for the lens to sit on. So that's the bores done. And now just put a radius on the corner with a file. Then I use the tool post drill again to do the side hole, so I use the centre drill again. The core drill for the 6BA um, screw. And now I've fitted a um, 6BA um, screw tap in the chuck, loosened the collar at the back and put a tapping wrench on the shaft of the tool post drill and finished the screw tapping on the side. And that one goes right the way through into the bore as well. Then I use a very thin homemade part off blade. It's made from a reciprocating saw blade and it's very thin. It's um only 0.058 thou wide and um, I made this so that I can use it on brass and save material when I'm parting off um, if you make one of these you can only use it on brass and um, plastics soft materials like that you can't even use it on aluminium because um, it will probably snatch and shatter and um, in another video I'll show you how to make that tool and how I've loaded it in this actual tool post to keep the um, blade square. And I'm going to use this tool to part off to finish length. So I um, put the blade just beyond the um, drilled hole. And I put a piece of brass in the um, Jacobs chuck and tail stock and that's to catch the component when it flies off. 
I forgot to mention before parting off I um, used a bit of wet and dry just to remove the sharp edges and I've locked the carriage. So that's what the component looked like now, the drilled hole right the way through, um, parted off at length, it's quite a good finish on the um, part off, uh, all that I need to do now is deburr this edge here and this edge here and do the um, screw holes um, in the face to hold the lens in. And I'm going to be using two um, brass 6BA um, cap head screws that will go in the face of this um, component and they will go as close to the edge of the bore as possible without breaking through and that's so that the cap head will overhang the bore and when it's screwed in will stop the lens from coming out. And to make it look nice and neat, the other hole um, is here with the screw thread. And I'm going to do the, the, uh, the face screws either side. And then I put it on the bench drill, um, centre drill and core diameter for the 6BA thread. Take it out and finish through um, with the 6BA tap. So that's this part finished. Um, the tapped uh, holes are very close to the bore edge there. And you'll find that after tapping them, you may um, raise the bore um, a little bit on the inside here um, where the actual screw thread goes, it pushes it out a little bit and if it does that you put the um, component back in the lathe chuck and um, locate on the back face of the or the face of the chuck and um, just take a very light skim to remove those high points so that the lens can um, go in the bore nicely and when I was doing this demonstration and making this one I came up with another idea um, the original prototype one the lens is a little bit loose in that one when the screws are screwed down so I found this nice um, rubber o-ring thin rubber o-ring and kept cutting pieces off until it fitted nicely in the bore where the lens goes and when the lens goes in and you screw the screws down it pushes the lens onto the o-ring keeps it nice and flush with the edge and um, it doesn't move about so that's it with the lens fitted and it nicely sits on that rubber o-ring and gives it a bit of a shock absorber and um, nice and tight and then it screws onto the other component that I made earlier. And um, it's nice and tight fit on that actual thread inside. And you can position it um, at whatever angle you want um, to suit um, your glasses. Then you've got a couple of small cable ties, um, put the rod on the side, it's best to do these up part way first. And put them over the arm of the glasses. And position the rod on the side 
and pull those up nice and tight. With the um, larger side of the cable tie sticking out so it doesn't hit the side of your head. Like that. And just cut the ends off there like that. And then the magnifier goes on the end like that and you can position it to what length you want it from the lens of the glasses and like I say you can twist that angle to suit the actual angle of the glasses and that's it basically finished. Um, you have to do the um, cable ties up pretty tight I normally pull them up with a, a pair of small pliers um, because I leave the um, rod to actually swivel in those cable ties rather than swiveling on here. And that's the job finished. So that's what it looks like on my glasses in use. I can have the lens swiveled up out of the way like that um, where I hardly even notice it and then quickly swivel it down for all very close work complete hands-free magnification when I'm doing tool regrinding jewelry making or soldering and I find it's a very good tool to have and just on closing I found that the swiveling operation works much better if you put a piece of rubber in between the brass and the arm of the um, glasses a piece of cycle it in a tube or something like that and it helps it to stick in position and makes it operate much better.